Hi there. Thanks for your reply. Please let me correct something from your response. You have stated that this is a bugged purchase and a known issue. Neither of these things is the case. The purchase was made by you, not a bug. Whether it was intentional or not, this is still the case. This is not a known issue because it is not an issue. Items cannot be bought automatically by the system as per our EULA, which you agree to. All purchases are final and will not be refunded. I apologize for any confusion this may have caused and hope that I have cleared this up for you. Kind regards, Steve, Fall Guy Support. Can you imagine if that was this bitch ass nigga's real name, Steve? Corny ass Minecraft default basic fucking name like that. I hope he's hiding behind a name with his terrible customer support ass. As if the interface for Fall Guys wasn't deliberately ass to the point where you can accidentally buy shit. You know what I mean? I guess it's not a known issue, and that's why Fall Guys had to quickly hop off their ass on that damage control to say something about this. <laughs> I don't know why, as soon as anybody touches Epic or sees any kind of slight popularity, that they just get greedy to the point where you've divorced yourself from humanity. You know what I mean? So why don't you pretend for a moment? That you can remember what it's like to not suck balls in talking to motherfuckers like this. Because yes, your interface is trash. And you should feel like trash talking to people like these. If it's okay, I'd honestly love to read some comments and responses to this non-issue as Steve suggests. Someone responds, every single one of these sentences is like exactly the wrong thing for a customer service agent to say. Lol. Another response reads, no matter what happened, it was your fault. I'm not looking deeper into the issue. Our hardline policy is inflexible. I hope you understand this. Regards. Man, it's not just that. It's the tone of the message. It's the disgusting tone of the message that multiple people have posted themselves getting almost as like an auto, snippy, smug, douchebag response as if to say, we know that our interface is deliberately made to make it so that you can accidentally buy things with the premium currency that's erased all the other currency for the people who were playing this in early access. You know what I mean? Let's not go there, right? But we're not going to do anything about it. And you can suck our balls. Ra ra better you have not said anything than to respond to people like this. These are your consumers you're fucking with. But you thought this wasn't going to get anywhere. I've seen the consumers uh, putting this forward on the Fall Guy subreddit and having community managers reach down and tell them they're making a big deal over nothing. This is a non-issue though, right? Until it's not. Somebody responds. It's pretty much exactly the response that I got for a video game ban. Bro, let's go down. That has to be just about the worst possible response I can imagine. Is management telling employees that they need to be assholes as well? That's the cream of it, bro. You can pretty much let somebody know, hey, it's not going to happen. But the asshole icing, I'm not sure it was necessary. Kind of make you want to find Steve and pop this little motherfucker in the mouth. Probably not his real name. He could be in India right now because they so cheap. That's who's, that's who's making these games right now. Cheap motherfuckers. And that's the weird part, is that they're so popular they can afford to not be that stingy, that money-grubbing, that greedy. But instead, they fucking a consumer. Every which way but Sunday. Number three says, that snarky customer service response isn't an isolated incident. Oh, my man said it. You bringing forth the receipts now. Oh, no. What's going to happen? You see you see how easy it would have been to just deal with this in a professional capacity? Instead, it's probably just going to blow up. No wonder you made a response to this non-issue because this is getting out of hand, isn't it? There's, the response says, that snarky customer service response is not an isolated incident, by the way. Others on the Our Fall Guys game have reported getting into the same issue and message from, you know, the representatives as a response to them saying, hey, I just want the money that I accidentally spent back because it was that easy to just tap the button on your store page. Come on now. The game is basically stealing 
expensive premium currency from people while customer support blames players and the co community managers avoid any posts about it. Isn't that just typical? It's just marvelous as far as I'm concerned. Somebody says the community managers aren't any better. When the game first launched, they were openly arguing with people and straight up lying at times. How unprofessional. Another response says, and they waited until just a few days before the game went free to play to tell everybody that their crowns, the currency that you used to get for winning, the currency that used to buy the rare skins, would suddenly be converted into the useless kudos currency that you can now only use on pretty much banners and, and skin patterns and garbage like that, my dude. Cool. Thanks for that. You know, man, it's all going to come to the surface now. And you're going to call out the people who hate your game the most and the and the ways that they've been scorned are all going to come to the surface because you simply couldn't treat people with a modicum of respect. And it's not like your whole company or whatever the hell you want to call yourselves is guilty of this. But when you skimp on customer service and got people talking to anybody any kind of way, that shit ain't cool. And you're going to learn how uncool that shit is. Do better. I mean. As they say, do better. You have to do better. Number four, did that guy seriously just say working is designed as a customer facing response? What do you, where do we even go? In the video I've seen, it seems the menus are set up so that pressing A on the selection menu shows a particular item and then pressing it again will purchase it. Bro, simply scrolling down and tapping that motherfucker will get the job done. You know? But hey. That's just a theory. I quit Fall Guys after it turned into or it turned all of my crowns into worthless currency and gave a big middle finger to everybody that actually bought the game. Seems they also gave a middle finger to people who buy their new currency as well. <laughs> Mediatonic is a disgusting studio. Those are some pretty passionate words that are coming out of people here. Holy wow. A response reads, wait, you can't use crowns to buy stuff anymore? You see what I mean? It's like all coming out. There's some people who played your game a year ago. Maybe they're going to end up coming back at some point. Maybe they won't following this. But for them to realize, because you, you waited right until you were out of free to play, to spring it on people that their crowns would suddenly be converted and therefore you'd be useless, even when you can't even like exchange the crowns for the, the good skins now anyway. Isn't that the whole point of the game, this person asks? Five crowns for a cool outfit. The lower currency for the common ones. This person says, I had like maybe, I'm, I'm correcting in, in my brain. He writes, I have maybe like 200 crowns. Not anymore, bro. This poor guy. And was thinking about picking this game up again. Someone responds, all your crowns have been converted into kudos. And many skins that you could buy with kudos are now paid skins only. So both your crowns and kudos are effectively worthless as it pertains to buying those sexy skins anyway. Boy, this kind of blowing out of control. It's a non-issue though, yeah, I mean, this is a non-issue also. Fuck you, fall guys. Chill beer trust. Oh, monkey ass, yes, monkey balls, you got going on, man. It's not, a, it's not the only threat either. Somebody says, I'm really peeved with how they did the free-to-play transition. I had a good amount of crowns that I was saving up because it was rare for me to... I don't need to say anymore. It's kind of sad. But I hope it all comes out. Because it should. And this is what people are supposed to do. They're supposed to come together against scum together. Somebody says, is anybody surprised considering Epic? It's the song that never ends.